For the second set of notes in section 7.3, we will now be working backwards in the problems. If you notice, by reading some of these examples, we're given the number of diagonals and we're given the sum of the interior angles. And now we have to come up with the number of sides so that we can name the figure. So please keep in mind you want to be reading these questions carefully and using the appropriate formulas. For the first one, we're told that this shape has 54 diagonals that can be drawn in it. So let's go ahead and work with the diagonal formula, which is n times n minus 3 divided by 2. And since we know the number of diagonals that this shape has, we can set that formula equal to 54. Now we're solving backwards for n. So let's go ahead and solve this algebraic equation. In order to do so, I'd probably multiply both sides of the equation by 2 first in order to reduce the fraction. So we're left with n times quantity of n minus 3 equals 108. From there, let's distribute the n, which results in n squared minus 3n equals 108. And this is a quadratic equation, which means that we have to set the equation equal to 0 and then factor. So let's start by subtracting 108 from both sides of the equation, which leaves us with n squared minus 3n minus 108 equals 0. At this point, we have to factor, and we have to determine what two numbers add to negative 3 but multiply to negative 108. Once we set up our binomial, we have two binomials here. Let's put n for the first terms in both of them. The two numbers that add to negative 3 but multiply to negative 108. Hmm, let's think about those two numbers. We should have gotten negative 12 and positive 9. Negative 12 times 9 gives us 100, negative 108. Excuse me, a negative 12 plus positive 9 gives us negative 3. But don't forget we have to set each of those binomials, each of those factors equal to 0, which results in two possible values for n. n can either be positive 12 or n can be negative 9. Since we can't have a negative-sided figure, we have to rule out the negative 9, which leaves us with a 12-sided figure, which is called a dodecagon. For part C, we're given the sum of the interior angles equals 900. To find the sum of the interior angles, we do n minus 2 times 180, and we could set that equal to 900. To solve for n, I first divide both sides of the equation by 180, which leaves us with n minus 2 equals 5. To then solve for n, we just have to add 2 to both sides of the equation, and we get that n is 7. But don't forget, we have to name this shape, and a seven-sided figure is called a heptagon. For parts B and D, I'd like you to try these two problems on your own. So you're going to hit pause, work the problems out, and then eventually compare your answers with mine. Once you're ready, you can hit play. For part B, we're given diagonals, and we, can, we know that we can draw nine diagonals in this shape. So we can use our formula n times n minus 3 divided by 2 and set that equal to 9. Solving similarly to what we did in the first problem, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 2, distribute our n, and then set our equation equal to 0. From there, we can factor to solve the quadratic equation, and we're looking for two numbers that add to negative 3 and multiply to negative 18, which are negative 6 and positive 3. Don't forget to set each of those factors equal to 0, which gives us n can be 6 or n can equal negative 3. But since we can't have a negative-sided figure, we know that we have to use positive 6, which is a hexagon. For part d, you should have set your problem up like this. You could divide both sides of the equation by 180 and then eventually add 2. We get that n is 10, and don't forget we have to name that shape, so it's a decagon. 